started uh, representing Lalo Schifrin, the composer, Mission Impossible. The Argentine young man used to play with Dizzy Gillespie. But, uh, you know, my life has been kind of like a whirlwind. In and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, but that managed a nightclub in New, New Jersey. Uh, and we booked certain kind of acts uh, from who? What? Uh, Jack Walker. Anyway, uh, you know, from Little Willie John, I started with him. And. Um, after that, I started managing Jimmy Smith, the jazz organist. After that, uh... Leaked, Clarence Avon, the black godfather of music, dies at 92 Clarence Avon, the executive and businessman known as the black godfather of music and entertainment, died Sunday at 92. Avon died at his Los Angeles home, his son Alex Avon, daughter Nicole Avon and son-in-law Ted Sarandos shared in a statement Monday, it is with a heavy heart that the Avon slash Sarandos family announced the passing of Clarence Alexander Avon, the family said. Through his revolutionary business leadership, Clarence became affectionately known as the Black Godfather in the worlds of music, entertainment, politics, and sports. Avon's family added, Clarence leaves behind a loving family and a sea of friends and associates that have changed the world and will continue to change the world for generations to come. The joy of his legacy eases the sorrow of our loss. Avon, a North Carolina native, became a pillar in entertainment after moving to Los Angeles in the late 1960s. There, he formed Sussex Records in 1969, which signed Sixto Rodriguez and soul singer Bill Withers, who released hits Ain't No Sunshine, Use Me and Lean On Me, while signed to the label. In his early days, Avon worked as a nightclub manager in New Jersey before moving into artist management. His roster included R&B and jazz musicians such as Little Willie John, Sarah Vaughan and rock-producing pioneer Tom Wilson, who would go on to helm work from Bob Dylan and the Velvet Underground. Avon's first foray into steering a record label came in 1967 with Venture Records, originally founded as an outlet for the sole recording artists on MGM Records. Venture Records lasted only two years, but Avon was ready to jump to his next assignment, helping to broker the sale of legendary Stax Records, which he did in 1968, before founding Sussex Records. Sussex, however, folded in 1975 after the IRS auctioned off the company's assets due to $48,000 in federal tax liens. V the music executive also purchased KAGB FM, which made it the first black-owned FM radio station in Los Angeles. Avon is credited with advancing the careers of L.A. Reid, Babyface, Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones and more. His influence in the music industry propelled artists in Motown and jazz and influenced the early days of hip-hop.